Hey everybody, Scott here with a somewhat specialized video. Uh, so I did this body paint on Trina over the weekend and uh, a few people that came to the event and got to take pictures of her and they're having some difficulties with uh, skin tone leaking through the paint. Now I did cover her with an overall gray shade with a hint of blue or purple to it and then uh, did add some additional brush strokes which was the majority of the body paint over her body. Uh, but you can see here on her fingers, uh, in her armpit here, and in random places throughout her skin and her body, that that hue of the original skin is coming through. And uh, that's this is a common problem with uh, newborns, uh, where they have an arm that might be a different color. Uh, you have this situation occur quite often. So I thought it would be good as a general purpose video to post, although the solution here is specifically for those people who attended that class. Uh, but I thought it might be good for everybody. Uh, so I'm working on putting some horns on her here, which is like my current uh, project. But uh, let's take a moment here and talk about how to do this. Now there's a thousand ways to do this, as there are most things in Photoshop. Uh, but the solution to this one is relatively simple. Uh, so my favorite is the Hue and Saturation Adjustment tool here. And there is a color picker here at the top. And you can grab a uh, the, the offending color that you would like anywhere in the image. So I'm just going to grab the inside of her finger here. And it's going to go ahead and set this bracketing down here to the tolerance of the color that we need to modify. Uh, so in order to make sure this is right, and without guessing, we can just take the current hue and give it some egregious color. And we can see that it has created this. Now, we can play with this left hand wing here is really where the magic happens as to how much of the image it affects or doesn't affect. So if you see if I'm too thin here, it's not quite covering her entire finger or parts, parts of her back. So I need to kind of play with this. And if that isn't everything, then I can play with this wing here as well. This is picking the right hand or left hand side colors. And again, look in her armpit, uh, look around the image and see if there's any other colors. You can see it's also shifting the background a bit, uh, which is interesting. So this the color that is in this here is obviously being represented somehow in the background. So you usually don't play with the ones on the, on the left hand side, sorry, the right hand side I play with. Um, you can also shift the entire thing. Um, but I tend to find that this is somewhat undoing the capability of using the actual picture picker. So uh, let's reset that and uh, try it again. So let's use the reset button at the bottom here. Click in the picker and then go, well, so we can try for the armpit color here or I like this finger and inside the finger seems to be the best place. Then again, push the hue over to see what we've got. And this teal is, uh, it starts at blue and goes you know, into teal, so it's showing you kind of what it's capturing here. We might need to widen this just a bit. Okay, so once you have that set, now you can set it to whatever hue you find appropriate. Uh, so maybe in this case, I wanted a little bit of a blue, but I want to desaturate it significantly. Uh, so now all that color should be gone from the image. So um, in one quick layer, we have done this. And you can see it's, it's global. So even the fingertips here or uh, bits of her anatomy, wherever it may be, her nose, her lips, parts of her back, that is gone. Now, if this didn't do everything you wanted to do and you want to go again, you can do this again and again. Again, they're just adjustment layers and they'll uh, layer it on top of the main layer or the top of the stack and affect everything underneath it. So uh, I, I sometimes have these at the very end where I'm doing some corrections with colors that might have eat through in body paint. So this specifically is a solution I use when I do have skin showing through body paint. And in this case, it's very easy to fix. Now, this does not fix the texture or any of the other aspects of this, but this lesson was specifically for removing a, an offensive hue globally across an image. And of course, there's a mask that comes with this. So if I need to use this uh, as a specific targeted solution to part of the image, I can. Now, this same situation can be applied to teeth that are yellow. So let me grab an image here and show you that. It's the exact same solution. So uh, what I would do is create a hue and saturation adjustment layer here. And I would use this color picker or you can just use the color yellow right away because yellow is the thing that we're trying to remove from teeth. So I usually just go right to yellow and you're not trying to brighten teeth so much as you're trying to remove the yellow cast. So if you remove the yellow cast from them, you should end up with what looks like white teeth. And you can see that they've got a significant shift here. So you, you could introduce some of this lightness if you would like to, uh, but you don't want to make it uh, look like their teeth are glowing out of their head. But this is a really simple way to remove uh, yellow from teeth. Now, of course, it is affecting the entire image, so you may need to mask it in just across the teeth. 
but this solution works really well for bloodshot eyes. It works great for acne uh, because acne is simply red with a shadow and a highlight. Uh, so if you remove the red, then removing the acne becomes very simple. However, be aware that, you know, rose, roses around the cheeks, you know, a bit of, of uh, pink in the cheeks, the, the lips, uh, other areas of the face will also be affected. Like the nose tends to be a little bit redder. The ears tend to be a little bit redder. And these are areas that you may want to bring down uh, if they're significantly red. It's the same exact technique, but using a different part of the slider. So once again, quick tip there for those who attended the workshop this weekend, but globally, just a tip on removing uh, unwatered color from specific areas of the image or globally. Uh, take care and catch you next time.